Hello Twin Flames, welcome to this reading for Saturday. So we're going to do three decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the Arrows of Love Tarot, the Arrows of Love Oracle and the Twin Flame Love Oracles, the Secret Messages of Union. And right now we need to hear the Secret Messages of Union because that's what you're moving towards. So these are really beautiful decks too with the little cupids on by Mystic Moon. So let's see what we need to know. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the connection today? What's the energy, please, around the connection today? What do we need to know? What's the energy around the connection? Wow, jumping out the deck, one on the floor. The energy around the divine feminines, please, angels. And the energy around the divine masculine. Wow, okay. And then we're going to find out the secret messages. So what secret messages do we have today about the connection? What do we need to know, please, about the connection while well, jumping out the deck? Love it, I'm taking them. I feel that's the main one, and these are clarifiers. So what's the energy around the divine feminines today? There we go. And the energy around the divine masculine today? There we go. Wow, well, jumping out the deck there. And then we do some tarot. So, wow, look at that powerful. Okay. These are the cards. I'm taking them. I kind of read energy with cards intuitively, so I just know which ones are meant to stay out of the deck and which ones are meant to go back in. The energy around the Divine Feminines today, what do we need to know? And the energy around the Divine Masculine. The energy around the Masculine, there we go. Okay. Gone back in. Yet yeah, one card coming out there. So <clears throat> they give me a block in the throat. <clears throat> and what I'm really picking up on, and it's really powerful because... I did a members reading yesterday and it came out very clearly that the masculines have so much to say that they want to speak their truth. They want to express themselves, but they can't yet find the words. <clears throat> That's the energy that I'm really feeling today. So this block in the throat chakra, you know, this need to release something. So I'm going to start with the masculine energy today just to see what's going on with this throat chakra healing. So We've got choices and flames, and this is the two of flames. So the two of flames is the two of wands. This is the energy of fire. There's choices. Now, that doesn't mean there's a choice between you and them. You know, you may think this is you and the karmic partner, and they have a choice to make. That isn't how it is at all. The masculine needs to choose himself, and then he can choose you. <clears throat> and they're giving me this real concern you know, the, this real energy coming in around the masculine where he's worried that you're moving on. You know, this could be you going out on the town here. Maybe he's thinking you're going out dancing or you're going clubbing or you're going for a drink or you're going to the theatre. You're going out with your friends, you're having fun and he's missing you and he's worrying about what you're doing and he knows that you, Divine Feminine, have choices. So you may see this card as, oh, my masculine has got a choice to make. He may have chosen the karmic partner and not me, but that isn't what this card is saying to you at all. This card is saying to you that your masculine is the one in concern right now, that you're the one moving on, that you're the one being happy, doing other things. He's worried about the choices that you may be making. And that's causing this block in the throat chakra. And also giving me, you know, it's coming through right now very strongly, like, you know, when you've got a cold, <clears throat> and you need to blow your nose and sinuses. Sinuses is connected with releasing things. He feels like he's bottling all this emotion up and it needs to come out somehow. So if he isn't allowing it to come out in his physical self by expressing it to you, it's going to find another outlet. So that could be a runny nose, stuffy nose, flu-like symptoms, ascension. He knows he needs to man up. Or she needs to girl up to get in touch with you and speak the truth because he's a little bit concerned here you're moving on. And that's coming through very clearly. We've got the eight of hearts departures. So the masculine is letting you know he wants to depart from his situation. So the eight of hearts is moving on from the past, leaving behind a situation, you know, moving on from the karmic partner. But what I'm really feeling here is, you know, he's worried again about what you're doing. He doesn't want you to walk away. He doesn't want you to leave him behind. And they're giving me all this energy here again. He knows he has to open the garage and drive his car to wherever you are. So departures is also about, you know, traveling somewhere. You know, we go, we, we depart from a destination. 
you know, we arrive somewhere, but we have to depart to get there. So I feel this is in making this again, this conscious choice to come to you. Now they're showing me, you know, I'm really feeling it in the throat here because he wants to make the effort to talk to you, divine feminine, or reach out to you or come to you. So he may even get in his car and have a drive around today trying to work things out. He could very well drive to where you are. He could drive somewhere he needs to think. But he's definitely walking away from where he is. So I feel that, you know, if he is in a karmic situation, he's driving somewhere. He's going somewhere. And if the masculine doesn't drive, he's going somewhere. He's going on a bus or he's walking somewhere. He's walking out of where he is. So I also feel this could be a big sign about making the decision today to walk out on his life. You know, it's like some of the masculines are going to get in the car and drive. And they give me that song, drive, drive. I don't know if it's a Rihanna song, but just drive. You know, he wants to just get away from where he is. He wants to move on. So he's showing you, especially between now and August time, he's leaving behind the past. So two ways here, you figure out in your intuition, in your mind, what he is thinking of here. Because, you know, for some of you, you're going out, you're enjoying yourself, you may be on a night out tonight, and he is really afraid that you're going to move on, and this is pushing him further towards you, so this is a good thing, you doing you, you know, not because you want to make him jealous or annoy him in any way, just because you're being yourself, and it's having an impact on him spiritually and emotionally, this also could be making the decision to walk away from the karmic energy, to come towards the divine feminine, so there's definitely a moving on or the need to be free. He's saying, if you chase, I might run. Says, be wary because your DM has inner fears and insecurities holding them from pursuing you. Now, I feel this is actually something he's releasing because he knows he wants to pursue you. And that's what he's doing here. He wants to get in his car and drive to where you are and tell you how he feels. But his insecurities may be holding him back so the message here is divine feminine let him come to you okay if you chase him he might get in his car and drive the other way right now he's driving towards you because you're giving him the time space and room to be able to come forth you're doing you so this is a message that says just keep doing you and allow your masculine to come because he's healing his fears about pursuing you why because he's afraid you're moving on you don't care anymore, he's in that energy of poor me, and he needs to get out of that to feel free, we've got stars align, it says favourable outcome, so there's a favourable outcome, so when he contacts you, when he does reach out to you, which he will do, when he does pursue you, there's going to be a favourable outcome, <clears throat> and again he's feeling all this in the throat, so this energy today is wanting to communicate, and it's a struggle for him, you know, when I'm channeling these messages and the energy is like this, it's a struggle for me to even get the energy to be able to get the reading out or, you know, to breathe sometimes because I'm connecting with everything he's feeling. And I am feeling sinuses for the mask. And maybe they're having hay fever in some way. There's something affecting their nose, their mouth, all of the energy around communication. But the stars are aligning to bring you together. So in other words, everything you're doing right now is working in your favour because your masculine is moving towards you. And again, you've been reminded, don't reach out. Let him chase you. Let him pursue you because if you begin to chase him again, he may run the other way because he's in this energy today where, oh, his mind's all over the place. So feminine, for you, we've got, again, look at this messenger, tweet, tweet, tweet. Now, this could be Twitter, so maybe there's some communication coming in on Twitter today, or you make, you know, kind of, you figure things out, or you make an assumption, or you realise something through Twitter, but this is a great sign of messages coming to you through social media, or even another source, lucid dreaming and sensual encounters, it says during this time you will be having a lot of lucid dreams and some emotional sensual encounters, with your masculine they may be thinking about you a lot certainly is inducing these dreams with you the more they are thinking about you the more dreams you may experience so and i feel since may your dreams have been getting more vivid and lucid so you're definitely dreaming about each other 
and connecting with each other in dreams. So your masculine may even be dreaming about you moving on or dreaming about getting in his car and coming to you or making his way to you somehow. And you've got trust your vibe. So you know your truth, divine feminine. Here we go again with the trust your intuition. The angel's really saying trust your vibration. Trust what you feel and trust yourself to remain on that high flying disc because if you fall off that, then obviously things could become pear shaped with things. You know, you're thinking, I'll just reach out. No, somebody out there watching is thinking, I'll just reach out then because he clearly wants to hear from me. He's clearly thinking about me. But you're operating right now on that high vibration. And if you come down and chase him, it's going to put things back a little bit. So I'm really feeling this energy where you're on the right path doing you. Just allow him the time to come forward. Don't go into doubt or fear around it. So we've got some clarifiers about the connection. So let's see what's happening in the connection today. We've got key to my heart. So you hold the key to his heart and he holds the key to your heart. That's a given. An invitation of love. So you're definitely moving towards each other. You're definitely aligning here, regardless of how things seem. Secret messages of your masculine's heart. So this is what's on his mind today. There were times when I tried to interfere with anyone who seemed interested in you, but I played it off as I was being friendly. I was really jealous and intensely affected by this, even if you didn't know it. So he's, he's showing you, this is what's affecting him today. You may not even be going anywhere. But because you're operating in your power and you may be connecting with other divine feminines online or you're having a good time, he feels it and he's jealous. And through that jealousy, there's going to be an invitation of love. He's going to move towards you. Why? Because you've got the chariot for travel. There's definite travel here. Maybe someone is going somewhere today. You may be, you know, planning a vacation or a trip. Or you're actually going somewhere today. It is Saturday after all. So there may be a movement energy here. But we've got the six of keys, equality. So again, you know that things have to be equally balanced in your connection to move this where you want it to be. And the ace of flames is new passion. A new passion for this love. And feminines, again, I'm feeling this as you with a renewed passion for life. You're doing you. And it's reigniting your connection. And we've got the opportunity coming in here with the key. So there's an opportunity, an invitation of love, travel, movement and change. And we've got the nine of hearts fulfillment. So you're going to feel fulfilled by whatever you're doing. And that's going to lead to self-love and self-care. That's ultimately going to lead to union and your dreams coming true. So we've got some clarifiers. So I'm definitely feeling all this jealousy and all this tension around the masculine. I think about marrying you and leaving the material world behind. But my friends and family keep telling me it's crazy and I need to focus on my career and stability. But I can't stop fantasizing about having a new life with you. So don't let anything get in the way. I feel this is for the divine feminine here because, you know, this is about you wanting a life with your masculine and people around you like friends, family, maybe saying, oh, move on, it's never going to happen, or there's plenty of other fish in the sea, trying to make you understand that, you know, this journey isn't real, when you understand it is real, and you don't need to, or you shouldn't have to defend that, so that's what I'm feeling, this card's in two parts, and it says, your twin is struggling with traditional and social constructs. They still need to release these cycles and patterns. They're entrap them from you. So give it more time and these cycles will end. So I definitely feel the cycles ending are listening to what other people think. Both of you are releasing that energy and you're receiving the power from heaven to let that go. I mean, this is powerful as well because it's a separation and closeness says, if you're in separation but nearby, okay, you could have a serendip serendipitous reunion with your DM soon. Now, I'm really feeling he could drive past your house or he could, you know, come out into the open where you live or something's going to happen here. And he says, if you're in separation but nearby, that means you're not communicating but you are close by physically so you may live in the same street or the same block or up the road 
says there's a serendipitous reunion. Now that means the universe is going to create that invitation of love. The universe is going to create a favourable outcome for you guys to come back together. Said you could be out and about getting coffee. You could be at work or walking around your city or town and your twin appears suddenly. So be prepared for anything to happen. Be prepared for anything to happen. Now I feel this is what some of you are healing. Because this card says there's a chance physical union may not be for you this lifetime. Now I feel this is a fear that's being released. And that's why you are here on this channel guided by angels. Because I'm here to tell you from my own experience and what the angels guide me every day to share with you that union is possible in this lifetime. So many channels and readers out there say the opposite and it's just not true. It's hogwash, it's fear-based. Union is possible for you, but you must believe. So the angels are saying to you, you have a mission here. You have a mission here. You always come back together at the right time. That's what I'm feeling. And it says, I'm in so much pain right now with this karmic person. Okay, so if your masculine is in a karmic situation today, he is in pain in it. Why? Because all he can think about is you and what you're doing. <clears throat> That's blocking up his throat chakra. I'm in so much pain right now with the karmic person. <clears throat> he wants to express himself. This is why there could possibly be blow-ups this weekend. They could walk out on this person because they've had enough. They've had enough of hiding and lying and putting up walls. I'm in so much pain with this karmic person. Please send me love and telepathic communication. I'm begging you on my knees for mercy. This karmic lesson is so challenging. And someone out there is saying, oh, poor you. Poor you, change it then. But we're learning to have compassion. So I feel there's a lot being healed today because I'm really picking up on all these different energies. It says your masculine is fed up with the karmic. He's ready to leave, which he is. But he must first plan accordingly for safety and stability. So send love and communication now in the 5D and your DM will follow it back to you. So of course he's coming home to you. Of course he's going to move forward to you. Of course union is possible in this lifetime, even if you think it isn't. And the message says union is not for everyone in this lifetime. Now that's true with certain people. If there's another plan. Okay, so if a masculine leaves the earth body before union, the masculines have also got a commitment to help the collective. Now, we've got a few soul sisters on the channel who've, you know, lost their masculine in that way. So union isn't possible for them in this lifetime, yet they've gained a spiritual union with their twin. So there's other reasons why you may not come into union. Maybe you decide to stay with your karmic partner, and I'm talking to the feminine here, or you decide to embrace a soul teacher, but union is still possible for you in this lifetime, regardless of what's going on. It says, it just means that there is more to be learned and ascend, and you and your DM are not yet are not there yet, but you will always come back to one another wherever you are, okay? In reverse, this message means, and that's what I'm feeling, that union might be far into the future from now. So what I'm feeling with this is in reverse, this message means that union might be in the future, even though it might seem far away. So this card, and they're guiding me to this card, is because what triggers heals. So first of all, if you're thinking, oh, we're never going to be together, it's hogwash, People have told me a hundred times we're not going to be together. I'm starting to believe that your union is possible in this lifetime. It just may not be on your timeline. You could see it far into the future. You know, far into the future, if you want something now, is next week. You know, you think, I want it now. And if someone says, oh, you can have it next week, you say it isn't, it isn't quick enough. You know, think about when we order something from Amazon. And we order something online and they give you a date for delivery. And it may come sooner, but they give you a date just to be on the safe side. That's the date will arrive by. But it could definitely come sooner because most things do. But you're thinking, no, okay then, it's too far away. I don't want it. 
So you're really stopping yourself from having that thing that you want by putting a block there or a demand there when it may have turned up on time anyway, in your time. So just see how this card is showing you to let go of the when and to trust and believe that union is there for you if you want it in this lifetime, but you have to believe in it and do the work. We've got meditation and dream journal. It says your dreams are very important right now, especially those with your twin flame. And that's because you're having lucid dreams and these sensual encounters. It says your twin flame records all dreams and meditates on them. So what it says is there's those with your twin flame and then there's a full stop. And it says record all dreams and meditate on them for answers and clarity in your journey. But what I'm feeling here is your masculine is actually recording their dreams. And they are actually meditating on them. Now, meditation is different for everyone. For the masculines, they meditate by doing deep thinking and processing and working things out. That's their form of meditation. That's why they go quiet. So, you know, when you do meditation, what do you do? You turn off your phone. You shut the door. You find a nice calming space for an hour to calm down. And during that hour nothing has access to you but the angels and your guides so if someone tries to call you and you're in a meditation they haven't got no hope of communicating with you because you're busy okay you may be communicating with them telepathically but your phone it's a no-go zone think about that one because it's the same for the masculine the masculines process their feelings through their form of meditation which is silence so of course they're going to kind of ignore you during that period even though it can be a longer type of meditation a longer period because they need to they need to block out distractions they need to block out anything that they are struggling with so they can go within and receive the answers and process things see so the masculine is saying to you i'm recording all our dreams and you say our dreams because you're dreaming things together and I am thinking about them and processing them for answers and clarity. Dream sharing is also happening and your DM is dreaming with you. So listen and pay attention because these are stepping stones to your union. So you're being shown in dreams the way to your union. And you're being shown in dreams that he is moving towards you, not away from you. And that union is possible for you in this lifetime. And that separation is illusion. In fact, it brings in closeness in the end. So trust the journey. So very powerful reading today. The angel's saying, don't let ego get in the way. And this card's moving on top of the deck here. Nine of keys, self-reliant. So remember, you can rely on yourself for the answers, to have fun, to bring joy into your life and to move yourself where you're meant to be. So trust the journey because you are loved and safe. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.